Maximus main event, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. The three judges ringside for tonight's action, Alan Rubenstein, Barbara Perez, and Steve Weisfeld. The referee for our main event tonight in the ring, Tony Perez. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds in that heavyweight division and introducing first, fighting out of the right corner, wearing white trunks with black trim, weighing 239 pounds. He has a record of 45 wins, eight losses, one draw, 32 knockouts. He is from Toronto, Canada, now making his home in Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel Trevor And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with black trim, weighing 233 pounds, with a record of 17 wins, no losses, 15 KOs, is from Baltimore, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Hasim Rock. Rock. Give me a good clean fight and I will not bother either one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands and most important, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, good luck to possible. Brockman does not want to look into the eyes of Burbick. Burbick staring right as, at his opponent. At the age of 31 in 1986, he beat then WBC champion Pinkland Thomas for the World Heavyweight Championship. He held it for just a matter of eight months before he was knocked out in two by Mike Tyson. Tyson becoming the youngest heavyweight champion. That was back when Trevor Burbick had black socks. Now he got his money's worth on these white socks. Holy smokes, there's a lot of boo. Oh, Burbick goes down seconds into the fight, reminiscent of facing Mike Tyson. And the veteran quickly goes to his corner. He feels the rock immediately. Trevor Burbick gets a wake-up call. Rockman with 15 knockouts in 17 wins, eight of them in the first round. Now, with the confidence to pour in on Trevor Burbick. The man can punch. That's why they call him the Rock Man. Burbick. Burbick better be respectful. There's another right hand that lands. Burbick is hurt again. His 55th professional fight, and he's only been stopped twice. Early in his career against Bernardo Mercado back in 79, and that again in the first round. And then to Tyson. It's all Rockman. Tony Perez looking in. Burbick using the ropes. Is this a rope dope or is he hurt? He's hurt, I can tell you. You know what, just like Melvin Foster, he cannot stand there and get hit. The punches don't hurt, but he wobbles. Remember with Tyson, he went down three times and one knockdown. Punch. That's why lost the three knockdown rule was in effect in that round. He went down, he tried to get up, tried to get up again, tried to get up one more time. Rockman very confident. After just 17 oh, fights. Hurt again is Burbick. Burbick is stunned. Burbick, no retaliation from him. He's got to get that left moving. Rodman is all over him. He's just got a punching bag waiting for him. you got to put Everlast on the top of Burbick's head if he doesn't throw some shots. Burbick just staying along the ropes. Smiling at uh, Hussein Rockman. Rockman knew that part of the tactic of Burbick was some trash talking. There he goes. Says, well, that was, is that it? Well, Hussein Rockman said today, I must win the first round. I think he's certainly doing that. He is, but Burbick seems to have cleared the cobwebs now, although watch his shots. Extremely slow from Burbick. Ever cleared the cobwebs? 
We're talking the about herbs his dug dug on his fighting. What the herbs do? Well, we're going to have to watch in the corner oh, to see if man. he takes yeah. any herbs in between rounds. He can use them now. Herbert just laughing in the face of the younger Rockman. Yeah, trying to destroy his confidence, but it is Rockman who is barreling in and scoring. Not only there. laughing, it looks oh. like he's uh, almost hysterical. He's, he enjoys it. He's cracking up. He loves it. Let a lot go. Oh, yeah. But Trevor, listen to me. He's looking for one punch from you. He's looking for that overhand right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Keep that damn hand up. Yep. You sat there and you, and you were all defense. You took a lot of yep. punches. Okay? We Keep your hands up. I think that's good advice. Keep your hands up. Here's why. Kaboom! What a shot. Right on the chin. And another one. It's the first shot froze Trevor Burbick. That's what you call a Burbick on ice. Whenever a fighter gets knocked out, they say they iced him. Here's a Trevor Burbick and ice. It's a new drink. Rockman comes straight out. Pat Burns in the corner of Burbick. Saying, Rockman gave, gave you all he had. He's got to be discouraged now. Yeah. Says, yeah, that is, that is putting a nice spin on it. Hear what he's saying right there? Come on, boy. Come on, punch. Talking to him. Perhaps Burbick gave uh, Rockman every chance to be overconfident coming into the second round. But Burbick saves it 1986. And he is powered to the canvas by Mike Tyson. Losing his world heavyweight championship. Following that, he did lost to Carl the Truth Williams, also to Buster Douglas, and it was assumed then. In 1989, at the age of 34, that uh, the career of Burbick was over. No smiling now. A big right hand from Rockman landed just on the inside. See how Burbick carries that left hand out a bit? Takes it out away from his chin. There's a big ball there that's open. Oh, Rockman goes uh, down low. This is the first main event that he is ever fighting. Goes against the ex-world champion. A very busy Rockman. This is 10th fight in the last few years. And you can see the last couple of fights we've seen him really improved his skills. He initially just charged out there. Now he's stalking. He's looking for openings. Now setting up before he's just running in, looking to get, get lucky. He's not wasting punches. He's not missing his shots. So he used to wear him down, missing so many punches. Okay, yeah, he has become very relaxed, very poised. An intelligent young fighter, 23, out of Baltimore. Won 17 straight as a pro, 15 by knockouts, but really taking, taking a major step off, even though Burbick is at the tenure age of 42. Rockman, his last three opponents he's knocked out, have had records of 13 and 20, 11 and 11, and 13 and 27. The only guy that's given him some problems, taking a 10, was the veteran Ross Purity. And that's the fight that he compares this one to. He says, they think, Burbick thinks, I'm going to punch myself out early. That's why you see him taking a step back here in this round. He thought I'd beat myself. He said, of Purity, they think I'm young and experienced, but I'm growing, says Hussein Rockman. The question was, what happens when somebody actually fights back against Rockman? In any of his other fights, this fight would have ended in the first. But uh, Burbick uh, had the whereabouts to get back up, clear himself, and get back in this fight. We'll pause now for a word, word from your local cable system. service for Trevor Burbick. That's the end of the second. Well, the second, and look at the talking. Well, come on, let's go. Trying to you see Jenks Morton leading uh, Rockman back to the corner and says, don't let him get to you. Just box. Keep that jab in his face all night long. And not play into his game. Trevor Burbick knows all the tricks. Tricks of the trade he's trying to pull out of the bag now. Rockman resets. Rockman has not seen it all. His 17 pro fights. He's not really faced anybody that has given him much of a test. 
but he thinks he is ready. Oh, yeah, it's time one. to step up. And, and at some point, the young kid has to grow into a main eventer, as he is doing in this fight. Rockman. Couple and, and you have to get... Ooh, another big right hand. Now, Trevor Burbick talking, waving his arms, but he has 20 points, and that's basically what was said between rounds. Jake Morton said, don't play into his game. Yeah, but Trevor's trying to score points here for later on. Now, we saw Trevor Burbick a couple of years ago against another good, young, undefeated prospect, Melvin Foster, who at that time was undefeated in his first 17 fights. And it was Trevor who poured it on early. And then, ironically, it was Burbick who had the gas left at the end and stole it and won a decision. And now Burbick inside. Tries to go to the body. Rockman with the spin. That's a tough spin trying to wheel the six foot three, 239 pound Burbick around. It's a long way to go around that mid six. And Burbick comes in low. between a rock and a hard place. A perfect solid. Another warning by Perez. Watch the hand behind the head of Rockman. Rockman starting with a splash putting Burbick down in the opening seconds of the fight. If he was counted out, this fight would have not got 20 seconds. There is that right hand again. Burbick says, let me see that rock. Where is it? Yeah, Burbick tries to pull away from that right hand, and he gets just on the outside end of it. It's on the outside. He tries to pull some of the power away from it. The shot looks hard. Albert and the Tramp, Sean O'Grady, ringside at Caesars We're on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. This is the main event. Former heavyweight champion Trevor Burbick on the left, looking to come off the canvas in the opening seconds of this fight against the young powerhouse Asim Rockman. 42-year-old Burbick against the 23-year-old Rockman, who has won 17 straight fights as a pro, 15 by knockout. Not much of a amateur career for the Rock. Six or seven amateur fights. Out of Baltimore, this is his first main event fight against Burbick, who has won uh, five, lost eight with one draw. A Burbick who has faced Larry Holmes going 15 rounds, unable to wrestle Holmes' championship away, but five years later, at the age of 31, did so against Pinkman Thomas, only to lose in his first defense the title to Mike Tyson. There you go, up and down, rock all day long, up and down. There you go. Perfect. Has cleared the head from the first round knockdown. Now tying up Rockman. Wants to take Rockman in the later rounds. Rockman has been past this fourth round just once in his 17th fight career. That was five fights ago to the veteran Ross Purity. Let's find out what they're thinking in the corner of Hasim Rockman, the champ now with Jenks Morton. Jenks, Burbick is talking to Rockman now. How are you keeping him focused and not unnerved? Well, see, we, we train for this. We know he's going to talk. When he get hurt, he's going to talk anyway. But see, Rock, as a young guy, he needs to keep punching. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Yeah. you got to keep up. Is this destroying Rock's confidence? It's over. Over. It's, over. it's over right here. He's going to shoot in the fight right here. Burbick's talking to him. Is that going to destroy Rockman's no, confidence? No, 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 no. He's going to Any trick in the book, he already knows. We already talk about everything. He's well experienced. Not that many fights as a professional, but a whole lot of gym work. And he's showing up now. That's what you see. What should he be doing? That's all we need now is a jab to keep the old fella off of him. You know, the old Should he go in for the kill now, Jeff? Not yet. Not yet. I don't want that yet. I want him to work him a few more rounds. Let him work him a few more rounds. He don't need to wrestle him. See, an old guy always wins the wrestling match. Yeah, but a survivor like Burbick, you might miss the opportunity. Yeah, we take, we take, we take him out. We take him out. Okay. Come on out, Rock. 
Let's go back over to Al. They're awfully busy over here, but they like what they see for good reasons. And it certainly doesn't appear as if the confidence of Rockman has been shaken. Only thing shaken in the ring has been Trevor Burbick in this round. The shaking going on in the fourth. Another rock hauled there by Rockman, and uh, Burbick says, "Come on, is that it? come on, but you don't get." Don't get points for but, talking. But as Jenks told you, that Burbick talks more when he is hurt. Yes, right. You know, he may never win the world championship again, but Jenks Morton says he is on his way to an Academy Award. <laughs> but Burbick, the old pro. Yeah, Burbick, who really has never lost a fight if you talk to, to Trevor. But that Tyson fight, he was sick, taking antibiotics. And no balance in the fight because of that. Oh, now he's seen. Yeah, look at that. Trevor Burbick very upset that the, would you believe the, the dirty tackle oh, of man. Hitting me like that. Yeah. Just hitting me. That's just, that's terrible. Hugging at his shooting at his tracks. Trevor feels he could fight for another 10 years if he does want another shot sure. at the title. Says, uh, of course, he would like to fit Mike Tyson into his uh, schedule. So he'll give Mike Tyson a rematch. <laughs> well, how do, how do you compare Burbick here at the age of 42 with Foreman when he just turned 40 and Larry Hearn when he just turned 40 and continued on? Much different. Uh, the, one of the differences, they, they weren't facing the fighters like Nassim Rockman, the, the young fighters on their way up. However, Burbick also is a bit apprehensive here, perhaps living off the reputation. He has a lot of confidence, he's talking a lot, but he's not he's not even competitive in this fight. Rockman has been winning every round easily. Handily. Burbick's hands look, you know, look very slow. Yes, he looks, he looks at age 42. And we'll have to uh, up the dosage of herbs yes. after this one, after this round. Down to 10 seconds of the fifth, the scheduled 10 round fight. Yeah, the two really fall into the mode of the fight now. Need some explosions. We move into the second half of the scheduled ten rounder. Five rounds down. Hasim the Rock Rockman on the left, the youngster who has uh, pulled ahead through the first five rounds on our scorecards, knocking Burbick down in the opening seconds of the fight, essentially the first big punch of the fight, and then wobbling him again in the fifth. Burbick says, come on, fight the fight. Meanwhile, Burbick hearing in his corner from uh, both Pat Burns and Emmanuel Stewart telling him that you know, when you get in there, you're not working. You're not generating the offense. And here is Burbick screaming at Rockman that he's not fighting. Well, let's get into that Burbick corner. The champ there with Pat Burns. A lot of uh, training for this fight. Uh, terrific team behind Burbick. What, what's happening to him? I don't think he's won a round, Pat. No, he hasn't won a round. And he's had the opportunity to win a round on, on uh, two or three rounds. And this kid is looking for one punch right hand. Trevor, Trevor will slip it many times, but he doesn't come back with anything. And sometimes he lays her too long, he's been caught with the right hand too much. He's not generating, he's looking for all defense and not generating any offense. But we got we got a long way to go, and he's KG and Trevor Strong, so maybe he'll catch this kid. Trainer of many champions, and uh, one who has seen him come and go. Emmanuel Stewart, is he grown complacent here? 
Well, I think you're just seeing an older fighter right now, realistically. And he's doing the best with what he's got to work with. And it's funny, the kid that he's fighting is only doing one thing, basically throwing a right hand. And all he has to do is if he could just counter the right hand, make it miss, and then throw a counter right hand, he could take the fight, possibly and win it. But right now, you're just looking at age and you. The other kid is not doing nothing that impresses me. But Trevor, Trevor's out talking to him. Trevor, how, do you, yeah. how do you get him to stop we talking and start punching? Brother, we forgot to put the mouthpiece in. I <laughs> admit this. And he talked more than that than he did before. That's so, it, Trevor. Make sure yeah. that you get his mouthpiece in, yeah, okay? That's the first thing you guys yeah. should do. Okay. Stop talking if you are. Stop talking, we can put it in. There's two mouthpieces in. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Work in there, Trevor. Okay, a lot of tension over here in this yeah. corner, Al. I guess I'm going to send it back over to you. It's really rough over here. Uh, you know, with... Good shot, Trevor. Good shot. Come on, with, with Patrick and Emmanuel, I don't even know how Trevor could get a few That's words it, Trevor, in. Looking good now. Which is a near impossible feat. Keeping Trevor quiet. Down to 30 seconds to go in this sixth round. Well, they are confident in the Burbick corner if Burbick only starts fighting. And the irony of it all is Burbick is now taunting Rockman. He wants Rockman to fight. As you heard okay, earlier, break, break, before the fight, Burbick wanted Rockman to be in his face, said, let's fight this one out. That's the world, what the world wants to see, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But uh, actually, it does not bring it to his young opponent. And we'll bring you uh, these words from your local cable system. Seventh round action, and Trevor Burbick hearing it in his corner. Pat Burns, trainer, making it official here in round seven, already saying, Trevor, you got to knock him out to win. And Trevor acquiesced over there. He said, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do this thing now. Burns, the round we've been waiting for. And here is Trevor back in the corner after the last round. Okay, Trevor, this kid is so vulnerable for the right hand. You're not throwing it. You throw the right hand, you're going to score. You've got to throw it, Trevor. You got to knock him out to win. You understand? You got to make him fight. Okay? Make him fight. You're in good shape. Okay, I'm going to do my thing now. All right. There is the mouthpiece going back in. That was very important that they got that mouthpiece in. There is a, uh, for a trainer, there is a new use for the mouthpiece. I thought it was to protect your teeth all these years. It's to keep you from talking. I think they have to put a couple of mouthpieces in Trevor's mouth to keep him from talking. But Johnny says he's going to do his thing. What may that be? He has not done his thing any of the first six rounds. And not a, and every time he tries to do his thing, he gets smacked four or five times. He probably is a bit drug shy here. Although he is putting the pressure on, but he's also getting hit, putting the pressure on. Trevor Burbick, 32 KOs and 45 wins. He does have some good, respectable power, but he's got to use it. And his punches are extremely lethargic. He's pushing the shots. Not really fluid with his punches at all. Whereas Brockman is. Brockman bouncing on the outside, relaxing, conserving his energy just to throw punches. Says the body. Middle of the nose left in the seventh. Scheduled 10 rounder. Assume the Rock Rockman, 23 year old out of Baltimore, looking for his 18th straight victory as a pro. Certainly would be the biggest on his ledger against the former world champion, although 18 at the age of 42. Right before our very eyes, Trevor Burbick. Started aging in the first round. So far, the only thing coming the best by Burbick is right back in there. The arms may not be quick and fast. The legs may not be quick and fast. But the mouth is still quick and fast for Burbick. That sounds familiar. Closing seconds of round number seven. Caesars in Atlantic City. Al Albert with the champ, Sean O'Grady. Main event, former heavyweight champion Trevor Burbick. Going up against The Rock. 
And although Burbick will not admit it, certainly faced the rock up against his chin. In round number one, just seconds into the fight, Rockman came out, blasting away. Burbick wanted to blast away with. Thanks, Morton. Told Rockman he's got to keep that jab going and pick up a little hand speed. And he says, go for it. Remember, you used to talk to him a couple of rounds before, said he's going to go for the, uh, the knockout now after he had shaken Burbank. He said, uh, no, I think it's going to keep going on. What is Jen sensing that now is the time to do it? Well, see how Burbank is now moving forward to accept the punches of Rockman. You had a little bit more force, more power to punch if your opponent is coming at you before Burbick was going backwards. Now I think he sees that Burbick is advancing. He said, though, with Burbick, that he's bringing it to you. Meaning he's there for you to hit. Pat Burns telling Burbick coming out for this round, too. Every time you go to Rockman's body, he brings his hands down. They want Burbick to unleash the right, but he has just been ineffective with it. He's probably thinking if you could remove Rockman's right hand from my chin, I could do that. In other words, uh, the rock actually was, this time the rock was embedded in the chin. The chin. The chin the fossilized. Corbett's <laughs> chin was fossilized in the rock. Well, the crowd thought it was was going to be extremely wild in the beginning. And it certainly has settled down. And uh, so has uh, Burbick. Haven't heard a word from him in this entire eighth round. Must be, must, either he's getting serious or he's getting tired. Or he has, or he has a mouth exam. Maybe they should stick an orange in his mouth, too, when he comes back over this. Looking for the home run ball of Rockman. All right, that's it. Eight rounds down, two to go. Burbick right there in his corner. And uh, Burbick. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. <coughs> Gonna let that right hand go, Trev. You okay? Walk me down. If he jab at me, I will jab at him better. If he throw a right at me, I will throw a right at him better. If he throw a hook at me, I will throw a hook at him better. Those were the words of Trevor Burbick before the fight. Oh, shit. We, did, we have not seen it yet in the fight. A little uh, tough talk uh, earlier by Burbick. No, perhaps he should have that mouthpiece for the interviews when we talked to him before, the day before. Do that left hook to the ear. We got to talk to Pat Burns about it. He's just, he's just missing it. When you throw it, throw it to the ear, okay? Short right hand to the left hook. Second shot. Throw the hook to the ear, Trevor. Trevor will have to try something. He may not want to admit it, but he has to know he is likely...